Hey guys, my name is Tanya. I'm Tim. Welcome to Timu Tuesday. <laughs> Today's Sunday. Tim's leaving for the next three days, so yep. I already uh, am trying to get the girls to go thrifting with me the next <laughs> While he's gone, I already put the text out there. Who wants to go thrifting this week? So since he's going to be gone, I'm going to be bored, so I need to go thrifting, go out of town, do something. So that's what I'm going to do this week. What are y'all going to do this week? I think we're just going to get right into it. Yeah. I mean, I got some rebuys, some... Some stuff that you bought that, before. Yeah. And, and some random stuff. <laughs> but my, all my stuff's just, random, too. Yeah. There is, like, zero theme to today at all. I, I did buy a couple clothing things and then extra stuff. <laughs> That's all I have is some extra stuff today. Yep. All right. You go. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I go first. Okay. We'll start with one of my rebuys here. Um... Paid five forty eight for this. You saw a couple videos ago. I bought an external hard drive um, enclosure case. I went ahead and bought another one. He loves this thing. He's already talked about it on more than one occasion. Yeah, and they, it's I I put it to the ringer. I guess you can say. Um, never had an issue with it. I've heard other people say that you know that they race, they especially USB drives and everything mm -hmm. I've got so far. Is lasted good, but if you have any uh, like old laptop um, hard drives laying around, um, or you can just buy them online too. They just the little two and a half inch case ones, slide it back in, you line it up properly. <laughs> it's usually not this hard. Snap it in, it comes with its own cable and everything, too. This all lights up on the top when it's talking. I mean, there was no nothing extra you had to do to the computers, or I even hooked it up to my iPad too, and it worked perfectly off of it too, and everything. Okay. So, yeah. I got a game for us. So uh, sometimes when we like uh, go somewhere or whatever, and we're kind of bored, we play little games. So this is some. I thought these were super cute. These are dice, but they're like mini dice. So I only paid eighty-seven cents for these. You ever played that game, uh, 10,000 with dice? That's that's basically what I got these for, to play that game. So here they are. They're just clear, and they're so tiny. What do you, how many you get? Two, four, six. six? You get six of them. And then all the dice are like uh, different colors for the numbers. So it's, it's easy to see. But, I mean, you could use these for your Yahtzee game. Just something cute and different than just the plain black and white dice. So yeah, I'll do a close up of these so that you can see them. Run with craps and all that stuff. I do not know how to nope. play craps. Look, nope. y'all know that we go to the casino, and so sometimes when I'm playing my you know little slot machine because that's all I really understand, uh, I'm always like watching the craps table, and th those people get so excited over there. <laughs> I do not know how to play that game. I really just need to stalk the table and like sit around and watch it. That's probably like the best way to learn. Or just download one of the apps. No, I've looked at those and I'm just like they. I don't know. Maybe my brain just doesn't compute. And maybe it's just too complicated for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's not that complicated. I feel I like the, it is. I know some of the basics, but nothing major. Yeah, I don't. So. I guess we can start off with a shirt too. That oh, I got. Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm not standing for this one because this one is actually the first shirt I've seen on there that this the logo is actually on the back. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I like that, and it's not like um, it's not that crinkle. No, you know, I know you know what I'm talking about. If you've ordered uh, shirts, t-shirts like that off of Timu, it's not crinkly at all. And this has got the really good material. Yeah. I like this material. Mm -hmm. This is probably my favorite material of the Timu shirts that I've seen. Right. This one right yep. here. I got some spring nails. So I don't have my nails currently done, which I think I have some Easter ones, which I better get those on my yeah. fingers, right? Because uh, yeah, we're only week. one week away. Right. So that's what I'll probably do my nails in. I was going to do it in something else I'm about to show you, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll just do one nail or whatever, just so that we can do a demonstration. But these are just little flower ones. I'm ready for spring, if you can't tell, spring and summer. So that's all like these are. We're in line outside right now. Yeah, so. I know. We're still in the 
warmer days, cold nights, cold morning stage right now. So that's where we're at. And obviously, I feel like we live in Chicago, the windy city, because it's been super windy, right? It has been. These were all 89 cents a piece, by the way. I usually don't pay more than a dollar for these nails. And they always last me more than a week. So as long as I'm not like really working, doing a lot of cleaning on stuff out in my room, they'll last for a long time. Here. Well, we got lots of clothes, huh? But I got clothes too. That's unusual so for this, us. This is another one that's a 3X. Yeah. But this one's got one of my favorite. Oh, the beast. That's cool. What is that? It's a gorilla in the middle, too, and everything. It's a facial okay. thing. Okay. Because so, it's hard to see close up, but I'm, I'm sure yeah, you can see away, it from far away. Yeah, further away, you see it better and stuff. But yeah. um, on this this color, it looks the best on, so you can actually see it. The rest of it kind of blended in. It kind of blended in. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and it's a 3X also. It's a gorilla? Yep. He's got me watching Planet of the Apes, y'all. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? So I've watched, I didn't watch the 1970s one. No. We skipped that one because, In the, frankly, it? I would probably just not watch it. So yeah. he, he started me off with like. The last three. That yeah. There was. So I've watched one of them and now I'm all in. So now we have to watch <laughs> the other two. Yep. This is a fingernail. It's just fingernail polish. All the fingernail polish I've gotten so far off of Timu has been really good, uh, in my opinion. I paid $2.98 for this, and I did get a $0.63 cent price adjustment, and I was going to paint my nails and show y'all uh, a clip with it, but I really need to do those Easter nails <laughs> so I don't have to wait a whole year, you know? Uh, but yeah, I'll do like one or two nails so that that way I can let you know how the coverage is. If it actually, if you gotta put like 10 coats on there, well then obviously it's not worth it, but we'll see. I already painted two for you. This stuff is very fast drying. Uh, I'm gonna paint one more for you just so that you can see the coverage of one coat. And it's a complete coverage. So the bottle is pretty small. And just to let you know that this dries in like a matte, not glossy. So if you're wanting glossy, then you'll need to put a glossy top coat on there. But for the most part, if you just have this, they'll dry matte. So as you know, I buy all my, well, since I found gloves on there that I like. He's so parts. addicted. He was like telling uh, Kurt yesterday yeah. about getting gloves off of Timu. These are actually um, fishing style kayaking style gloves yeah they got the grooves the grip things oh yeah it matches my kayak the same color as my kayak and it everything. is the same color so, as the kayak and as you see they were very easy to put on i only paid uh 490 for these yeah i guess i didn't even see the price of the shirt and stuff i got this one for like six dollars <laughs> he's one like not even telling y'all prices <laughs> yeah but this one was seven dollars so funny. you know but yeah you know just simple simple they come off very easily mm -hmm. and everything so yeah yeah, those are good because when you kayak, if y'all kayak, then you know your hands can get like it can hurt your hands after a little while. And they get slippery too sometimes. Too yeah, I love these type of socks uh, to wear with sneakers and stuff so that you don't see the sock itself. Yeah, I paid two dollars and eleven cents for these. These are what Tim calls a rebuy socks that you <laughs> buy stuff that you buy over and over from Timu. Uh, these are like slick. They're like silky on the outside, which I love. And they have the backs. They have the grip on the backs behind the heel so that they don't fall down because I hate walking and then they fall down inside your sneaker and it's like, what's the point of wearing a dang sock? But yeah, I got three pair. I think they had different colors, but I just chose, you know, the common ones, black, white, and gray because that's mainly what my sneakers are. Yep. So. I paid four ninety seven for this. This is one of my rebuys. Of course. <laughs> a rebuy. Yep. Well, if you like it, Shane, keep on I know. It. And you always People want to know, hey, if I'm spending my money twice on it, mm -hmm. then you know it's got to be good. Because yeah. I'm like, not. Nah, I don't like to do that. <laughs> it's one of those magnetic. Oh, yeah. Um, Didn't you get, those, did you tell Chris about those? Yes, you did. I did. Okay. Yep. I thought so. This little square, little magnetic, little stores thing, it will attach to your toolbox or whatever you're using. Or you can just say it's like the... You can hold all your screws yep. and nuts and washers that will randomly disappear. I know, right? Throw legs and walk away. For sure. 
like socks in the dryer. <laughs> yeah. I got a ring. I paid two ninety eight for this ring, and then I got a sixty three cent price adjustment. And I like wide band rings, even though my hands are tiny. I still like a wide band ring. I can't hold myself so. This one's like uh, silver and double bagged. All right. And what I order, I ordered a size six. So I just got it to wear on my regular. Yep, it fits. So it's just a wide band ring. If you can't see it that well in the video, then I'll do I'll do a close up for y'all. But I love, 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 love. I'm I'm looking at it in the mirror of my phone <laughs> while we're recording. I love a wide band ring. Big fan, big fan. Love it. It's pretty sparkly too. I'm a big fan of this ring. I'm just gonna wear this today. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on. All right, I paid two ninety eight for this, and this is actually um, you bought me one of these a while back, so technically it wouldn't be considered a rebuy for me. Nope. But first time buy for you. <laughs> oh, is that a belt? It's a belt, but it's caught my attention because of the simple fact that. All right, so for starters, um, what size is this one? It says 4.1 feet. <laughs> four feet. It's a four foot belt. Yep. So it's got the quick release snap and everything on it. But what got my attention on it, it's, a, it's elastic. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I said, that is let me, that's uh, rare. Let me get that and see you know, how that okay. feels. I've never had a belt They're that. All, the whole thing is? The whole thing is. Okay, y'all are going to be. <laughs> so yep. I ended Oh, he ended the thing. Yep. You're lucky that didn't hit me. Let's play this here. You are so lucky. <laughs> you are you are so lucky. Yep. That is all that's cool. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think I've ever No. No. <laughs> I like that. They don't have those for women, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. I haven't even taken it out of the package and I'm not sure I like it. I paid two ninety eight for it and I feel like it's something I could have got at the Dollar Tree for a buck twenty five. Which means I could have bought two of these instead of one. I don't even know why I bought it. I think I bought it for the bedroom upstairs uh, as decoration to put around something that I have up there. I don't even really remember, but it was just like these sleeves. But honestly, I, I am not a fan of this, like at all. It's super cheesy. And if y'all have any ideas, I don't know, maybe I'll make a wreath out of it or something, but I, I honestly, I don't like it. I'm probably not going to do anything it, with it, to be honest. It reminds me of something out of the, the Roman era. I'm going to probably... Oh, you even put it on my head, yeah, on your head? Yeah, let's, you know, that you wear one. Oh, maybe that's what we should have bought it for. We should have bought it for that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can, uh, and then wear one of those, um, what are those called? Sashes, uh, uh, -uh. Like sashes um. No, what's that called? A toga. To like you're yeah. going to a toga party? <laughs> yep. That's what you use it for. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> It's a little bit. There we you can go. We'll shorten it up. There you then, go. Yeah. And then I'll get a sheet. Yeah, and I'll walk around it like it's a this. toga party. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. No. I'll be returning that. And the colors really are not. The colors don't even look legit. No. I don't like it. Especially when you got that. Seriously, I feel like it's yeah. worse than Dollar Tree. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. All right. So I paid two sixty nine dollars each for these. And this is actually, um, if you didn't know, the team has a lot of fish and stuff on there. A lot, a lot. of fish, fish and stuff. And of course... I didn't realize this tip was taped. But you didn't come prepared this time. Last time you brought the scissors, well, didn't you? I got my little coat right there. But oh, there you go. So these are actually um, cicadas. Ooh. And they oh, got they the got little, little spinners hands. on so the sides. Like the top water popper type thing. So nice. It's got a little rattler in there. I don't know if you could hear yeah, that. Yeah, I can not. hear it. You know. So. Yeah. That's but I got sweet. two different colors. This is a, let me get myself unstuck there. Mm -hmm. um, a dark green, and then I got the lighter green one too. And everything. Yeah, it's got like a lime green in right. that one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are cool. So for $2.69, very well made. Those are sweet. Those are not that'll be pulled out or anything like that. I so. can't wait to get the pontoon out on the water. I know. Ooh, can't exactly. wait. pretty pumped all right well i need it to be warmer first because i cannot stand to be out on the water and be freezing because it's always colder out there anyway yeah no all right i paid three dollars and 14 cents for this and we do not drink wine let me put that out there first 
However, it seems like whenever people come over, they are wine drinkers. And that's fine if you like if you like wine. For some reason, wine gives me like an instant stomach ache. Yeah, we've tried all different types. Yeah, stuff. I mean, like I might drink a little bitty glass when we go to get our nails done because they always give us alcohol when we uh, go get our pedicures. But that's about it. And it's usually like a Moscato. That's it. Uh, but yeah, I paid $3.14 for this. And over Christmas, uh, one of the kids had brought a bottle of wine with them. And they massacred the wine bottle opener at the time. What did you end up using to uh, even get it open? I can't it remember. I just decided to my uh, lineman pliers and pulled it out. <laughs> So, there you go. If you ever break yours, that is how you still get your bottle of wine yep. open when you don't want to go to the store and buy a new one. <laughs> they, like, seriously bubble wrap this. But, yeah, just bought a new one. This should be, hopefully, a good one. Yeah. Sounds like it's pretty... Mm. It's a little, they'll probably break this one too. I don't know. Yeah, it ain't super thick. That's plastic but, right there. Yeah. Plastic with metal things, that's, that, that's not that means well. <laughs> but we don't use it that often, so. No, so it's know. good for now. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. It's something to have at the house if somebody brings over some wine. That's it. <laughs> and if not, we can always default back to a screw and pliers. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I uh, paid 70 cents for That's this. The default. Exactly. <laughs> so, this is basically um, like a little cheapo little punch tool with the built in wire strippers. I mean, most of this type of stuff is used for like your Cat 5, Cat 6 connections when you're doing the punch down. But it does have the little spacer where you can put your different size wire inside there, squeeze it, and then spin it with your finger to strip it or on your punch down block. You can actually punch them down with that right there. Y'all surprise me because when he shows stuff like this, I'm thinking to myself, there is nobody out there that's going to know what he's talking about. <laughs> and every single time, y'all surprise me. Oh, yeah, that thing Tim shows. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed by it, actually. So I ordered this, and Tim, Tim was scoping it out when I ordered it because normally this is probably something that he would order. I paid $1.34 for this, and it is a pencil. Remember? Mm hmm I should have brought something. Well, I can do a close-up uh, of me writing with it so that you can see what it looks like. But, okay, it's double wrapped, too. Ah! So, it's a pencil, and it's got all these little tips that come with it. I probably should have opened this prior to now, but I did not. Oh, it's already got one in there. And then you just, do you keep all these in here? Or no? Is there a way to store those other pencils? Or other tips, do you think? Yeah. Tiny should have just unscrewed it, right? Yes you do no. have different, you do have different sizes. Yeah, so. they are different. So oh, wait. Oh, that's the eraser. Yeah. So, I don't know. It did come with the eraser on the inside, too. So, maybe still, that just stays in there. And there's still in. more in there. Yep. So, yeah. I'm going to write with this so that you can see it, too. Yeah. But it is pretty cool. And these are different. Cut they're, The tips just screw in here based upon whatever tip you want to use. But I think there was something special about this. Was it that it doesn't go down or something? Yeah. It says it's supposed to be endless. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll check it out. Well, that's why I was confused when it said endless, but those don't feel like lead. <laughs> so, that's yeah. why I thought about it for the stylus there. No. Or your iPad, I mean. Mm -hmm. It's writing. Yeah, it's right. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, I mean, it's writing like a pencil. Mm hmm I don't see it moving any. No. So, is this kind of, well, I was going to say maybe this is kind of like a wax pencil, but a wax pencil, you still have to right. take off the thing. And yeah. let's hear, let's see, let's try the, uh, let's try this eraser. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it erases it too. Yeah, I'll do a close up video for you guys so that you can see it's too. It's even but... got the indention, so when you're writing stuff, mm -hmm. it's. I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's gonna stay in my office. Yeah, I like it. You're gonna send me the link to that one. You like it, so, don't you? Yeah, I do. What, what would you do with all these extra tips though? Where would you hold them? 
you would have but to But I mean, I like guess you don't pouch. really need them. No. I mean, why do you need all these extra tips if it's endless? Well, they're different sizes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're, you get like that one's a fine, fine point. This is like a medium. So you look oh, like you yeah, might you have two see. or three. There's a, yeah. Different ones. Hmm. All right. I'll put in a little clip video for you. These are cool. These are non-sharpening eternal pencils. That's what they're called. They did come with different tips. They're supposed to be non-breakable and erasable, which we tested it out and all of those things are true. So these are pretty cool little pencils. I would definitely recommend for the price, that's for sure. And they come in a ton of different colors as well. I paid six oh nine for these, and there's fifty of them in here. They're basically not basically; they are U-shaped style. Oh, space. can't have enough of these. You know, fifty of them. Oh, Done very well packaged. Yeah, like you these. know, like uh, tent steaks or your garden steaks, but we put a lot of blow ups or yeah stuff outside and everything for the ornaments and these will actually come out really handy oh yeah we it always seems set. like we've run out yeah like we never have enough they'll either get broken to or yeah come up missing or... i like those yep all right i bought a skirt i know i bought a jean skirt a long maxi jean skirt i paid 9.48 for this and i did buy the extra large, which I think was either a 12 or a 14. I'll put it up. And I got black. It's like a black stone wash. And it buttons. And it has pockets. And it buttons all the way down. All the way down the front. See? Super long. And it's just like a denim. And then it's got the back pockets too. Ooh. So you can open the bottom if you wanted to. You know, for in the summer when it gets hotter or whatever. As long as you're not, you know, don't button it, unbutton it way too far. But, you know, you can button it a little way so that you can walk easier or whatever. But, yeah, I think I think this was either a 12 or... Oh, my goodness, it's cotton. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's actually 85% cotton, 15% polyester. So, I'll try this on for y'all. And, yeah, see if it's cute. It might even match the shirt I have on. Who knows? All right, here's the skirt. It is an extra large 12. Uh, I'm gonna hold it like right here because when I turn to my side, like it's it bunches out where the buttons are. So it's just really a little bit too small. So maybe in the next month or so, I'll be able to wear it. I am gonna keep it though, because I do like it. I, th I It's a cute design and I like it, I just, it's just a little too tight right this minute, but I am going to keep it. I like it. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. It's one of those bumpers for your phone. I bought a black one a while back and kind of seemed like it wore out a little bit fast. So I th this brand here, nobody complained about them warping out. Uh -huh. So I thought I would try it out and see. It doesn't. It just does the edge protection all the way around. It's got the protection for the you know the speakers and all that stuff. But it's just not a full face on either style side. Case. Yeah, just around the ends there. Cool. Maybe See if that one works better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're done. I you? am. Yeah. All right. So, paid two fifty nine for this, and there's actually two that came in this one. Okay. So, as you can tell, I already have one on my phone. I've actually been testing it for the last week. Oh, isn't that <laughs> nice? He already tested it for you guys. Yeah. So it comes with a little, you know, the tool. You you know, slap your phone down the side there. Okay, so you kind of had something like this right. before. I had the clear one. This one here is what they call the anti-glare uh, glare privacy style one. Okay. So when your phone is on, like mine is on right now, you can't see from the I side. Don't, I don't see anything. Until I start turning it. There, finally. Yep. Oh, okay. So it does, does you know, does pretty good. And yeah. it hasn't bubbled. It's actually done a lot better than the clear one I had. Maybe I did it better installation with the maybe because one. i was the first time putting but, it on right I mean. you know but the bubbles is not there the response time is i was gonna there. say how how was a clear one if you remember me complaining about texting i ripped that thing off so fast <laughs> <laughs> 
He was like, at first he thought it was fine because he was just pushing like the apps. But when he got into the tiny yep. for the texting part, he's like, uh-uh. Yeah, because usually I don't ever put screen protectors on my phone. I never have them. I've always yeah. not liked them at all. So, but for $2 and what did I say, 59 cents. Privacy ones are nice though when people are trying to be, you know anybody that's nosy around you trying to be like all nosy what you're doing on your oh, phone. Oh, exactly. Um, but also too, you know, one of the things they call it is the anti-glare one. So if you had your your um, brightness all the way up, yeah. being out in the sun, you can still see it. Really? Yep. I've been, like I said, I've well, been Well, I'm going to be checking yours out out there yeah. because <laughs> that gets on my nerves. Exactly. So, I mean, it's still a little dimmer, but it's yeah. not black where you have to really try to zoom in and out of your yeah, face and stuff like time. that. Right. So, but yeah, you get two of them for two fifty nine. I think you great buy on that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. A buck so, twenty five. Just don't pay attention to the instructions. <laughs> The reason, I'm sorry, the instructions for this thing, because it actually talks about wiping your screen off. Um, yeah, it has nothing to do with the screen, screen protector. So I think it might, it might be like a generic uh, Weird. paper they it put in there. Is. So, it probably is. You know, but and then my last item. Ooh, let's see what he's got. So you saw a couple videos ago, I bought one of these other styles of these. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. no. I'm going to chase you around the house. That's plastic too. That's not even wood. Hey, that might be the, no. Dang. <laughs> that thing's so, serious. Make sure I do this one right. All right. So I got oh. me another Iron Man. Iron Man one to go on my top of my desk. That's cool. You know, so there's different sizes they had on there. Of course, you know, I went with the bigger ones because I like to have, see the images and yeah. stuff. So, but That's I already got the uh, frames coming for it and everything like that. So hopefully... Hopefully the frames work. If not, we already have an extra plan. plan but plan he's gonna, two. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to get the ones that have, or get frames off of Timu to see if they work. So, yeah. yeah. These are, this one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the colors on it. Uh-huh, me too. So. Yeah, it's got good colors. I wish she just had a war machine too, so then I would barely be set, but I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, yeah you probably have a hard time ones. finding yeah. that. He had the Patriot on there, which was what War Machine became, but mm -hmm. yeah. Are you gonna start putting that stuff in the in the weight room? Yeah. Because I mean What better place to have it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's all that we have for this week. Uh Hopefully we will see you next Timu Tuesday. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Yep. We hope you all have a great week coming up. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.